What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the charts. And today, as you see, the title of the video, what I'm going to be discussing, uh, I've been getting a lot of talk about it in inboxing in my Twitter, on my Instagram, on Facebook. So I'm going to cover this topic now for everybody to hear my thoughts and opinions and i don't care if you agree disagree it's my thoughts i want to you know provoke your thoughts so you can think about it and you guys if you are new to this channel and you like what you see and hear on this channel feel compelled to sub hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for future content and let's go um i want to say this before i go you know god always comes first on this channel i want to say seek ye the kingdom of god and all his righteousness and all will be added on to you uh that's matthew 6 and 33 so you guys uh i definitely want to talk about this because uh it's something serious and interesting at the same time uh because the times that we're living in i did make a video before this one that i I'm going to link it in the comment section and pin it. So watch it. It's a message from God. Uh, I gave a lot of scripture in there. So definitely check that out because it kind of ties into what I'm about to say. But you do know that the United States is trying to, you know, release this uh, digital dollar. So we already know everybody that's involved in crypto is uh, they already know that, you know, everything's going digital we're ahead of everybody we already know this so here's the thing uh crypto you know blockchain crypto the technology is going to it's creating a system that you know a lot of people worry about because it it, it hides your freedom and it takes away your freedom if you know i'm just gonna put this in perspective you guys and make you think a little bit say that everything goes according to plan it it goes up in moons and you know say one day the government decides to you know start pushing laws against people saying if you don't follow this law we're going to shut off your access to you know your to buying and selling or you have to take this you know this chip or whatever so you can't buy or sell or you have to do this this and this otherwise you can't buy or sell they it's like this system cryptos is making it easier for you know government and you know world leaders to be more in, in control this is setting up the you know it's setting up the antichrist system so to speak I'm not saying that this is it now but it's setting up you know that that realm and a lot of people don't want to hear that but that's the truth because it's all going to be under one system and if it's all going to be under one system they could easily you know control what you do with your money if they wanted to you don't serve uh you know you don't take this like i said you don't take this chip you don't get to use your money simple as that so it's something to think about because a lot of people have been worried about it. Is it is it the system now? No, because the Antichrist has not revealed himself yet. So right now it's still, you know, it's not the system yet. But in the, you know, whenever that comes, yes, I do think in the it, it has the ability to be that. So that's one thing that we need to watch out for. So let me go over here. So by chip, you know, they put this out and then it's announcement by chip microchip implant is now implementing ripple payment system in the product. This means that the microchip owners will not be needing to connect their microchip to their bank accounts anymore. So, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of cryptocurrency, you know, this is why I'm telling people put your put your money on the wallet, on the, the wallet because you'll have access to that wallet. 
but who who's to who's to say if you don't have this chip that you see right right here that let's just let's put it let's say this say that they put this they say hey you can't use your money because you don't have this chip this buy chip and the reason why you can't use it is because you're not following the orders of the of the law you're not bowing down to the system what they're gonna start doing is attacking christians because it's already happening and people are not noticing but if you are a christian you won't be noticing you'll, you'll know what's going on especially if you're following and being led by the spirit and you know i'm not saying that this chip you know these chips are it but the idea behind it is definitely there and that's something that people need to take into consideration all right and then you have this we already know the scalability of the cryptos that xrp is definitely the one to be used so it, it just lets you know that xrp is the only one that has the ecosystem in place even if you you know throw away the other things in the blockchain you know xrp is there it's, it's there to do what it, it needs to do so you know it's something to think about someone asked me did i sell my cryptos no i haven't sold my cryptos i'm still holding it until i feel the need for you know and if i start feeling the need to get out I'm definitely going to get out and I'm definitely going to tell people about it. I'm always going to speak my mind and I'm definitely going to always speak what the Lord has me instructed to speak on. So it's just something to think about. And, you know, people that say, you know, talk, that have been talking about the Antichrist, you know, here's some scriptures that y'all can look into uh, about the Antichrist, the Antichrist's traits. You know, you, know, you could definitely, you know, look through it. I'm not going to go through all that because that's quite a bit, but it's something that we need to be aware of in this time because the times, you know, things are changing fast and it's only going to get faster from this point on. Just mark my words, you guys. I just want you guys to stay vigilant and stay prayed up because a lot of things are happening. So I'm about to give this technical analysis of XRP right now, and I'm going to, you know, just be real with you guys and tell tell it like it is with the price. All right, so let's go here. Let's get it going. Uh, all right, so I already have it marked up. Uh, let's get that off the screen. Let's go here. All right, so I'm just gonna keep this simple because there's not much to say. And I'm going to actually start off with the weekly time frame, then go down. All right. Because you guys definitely need to see this. So let's see right here. Bam. All right, here we go. So this market is out of equilibrium. You got the key just in flat. You got this spinning top pattern right here you see that price is trying to break where it's currently at but i'm going to show you guys what's going on on the uh, daily time frame in the four hour time frame and go from there for this to even be bullish we need to get above this green line and to move up higher looking at it xrp is still not ready to moon yet it hasn't got a twist here so until we get that twist i'm not going to even Think about anything being bullish until we start getting a twist. Yeah, we might start getting be start getting bullish until we pass this green line and come up higher. If we start coming up to this level, then we might start seeing a little twist here because it's starting to curve a little bit. Another thing that I like here, excuse me, I'm starting to see bullish divergence on the weekly time frame. And that's what I like here, the, this bullish divergence. You know, if this could maintain bullish divergence, you see that price has been on a decline while the oscillator has been moving up higher. Uh, it's 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 pretty interesting. And I think we'll start seeing, you know, soon start seeing, you know, moves to the upside, you know, soon. Not like I said, going back to the daily time frame. This is very interesting. And I have dates here that I have marked up for potential moon dates or you know dates to move up higher but here we're in a tk cross zone we have this angled up while this is you know 
coming down slightly, but it's kind of flat right now. And we're also trading within this one candle, this mother candle, as I call it. It's mother candle trading. So what happens with mother candle trading? It's all these candles trading inside one, all right? You don't trade this until it breaks outside this candle's range. So the range of this one candle is from the bottom of the red box to the top of this red box. So if we break, get a break above it, I'm gonna go long here and probably you know see what happens up to this level and hold it up to this level. If it manages to get past this level, I am going to assume and be safe to say that the market will move even higher. So I have an alert set at this line in place if price dares to break past this level. So that's what I'm also seeing. And I think that's it's a good chance of that. Now, if it doesn't break to the upside, and it breaks to the downside, I have levels already in place. We're gonna make lower levels, and that's just my opinion. We'll probably go as low as 11 cents, and if we break that, then it's off to five cents, six cent range, and that I say with confidence if we break this level here at 11 cents. So this is something to be watching carefully uh you know looking at the weekly we are at a strong level of support so i am you know kind of bullish right now as well and you see here this strong rejection here is kind of pushing us higher so until we break outside this box i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna say anything this market is still you know it's still doing its thing it's still trying to push up higher but i'm still going to watch it and i'm going to remain neutral until we break this area until then i'm not going to say anything else last thing for our time frame let's see you know right here is where i'm really interested i had this as a cell so i need to erase this if we do break outside this box this is the target so right now we are above the cloud with price so that's interesting what ha needs to happen is Chiku Spen needs to break outside of this cloud. And then I expect that move to the upside. Once that happens, because look, look where we're at. We're right at the top of that red zone in that box area. This whole area is this box area. So if we could get above this black line here, we will definitely see this target and then higher prices. Uh, where would our target to the upside be? Let's see. let's go I would first start to look around 20 cents and 24 cent level between this range here that's if we manage to get above this so it's just speculation for now I'm not gonna call anything I'm neutral until we break this zone either we're gonna break this part to the upside or at this level to the downside that's my thoughts on it that's my opinions and i'm going to be you know giving updates on it and you know being more active with these videos i've been with my students and i've also been focusing on my relationship with the lord because a lot of things are going on and i'm trying to make sure i'm right with the lord because anything could happen at this point so i definitely want to be in the right standings with the father um I do want to shout out my students. They've been killing it. They've been doing really great. I have nothing but great things to say about them. I'm just put a lot of attention into make sure, making sure that they're self-sufficient and don't have to really rely on me to trade. Uh, that's what it's all about is, you know, if you teach a person how to fish, you know, I mean, if you give a person a fish, you only feed them for a day. But if you teach them how to fish, you feed them for a lifetime. And that's what I'm doing with my students. And that's what I plan on doing until my time comes. <laughs> but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe your thoughts. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section. And God bless you guys. for the. Until the next time, peace.